Let's start warming up, mobilizing first thing. We go hands over head, nice and tall, down, and we crawl in a hand plank. So, we have inchworms, and again, nice and easy, overhead, down. Try to keep the knees straight when you go down, so we have light stretch in the hamstrings. We're gonna do maybe around five repetitions, and then go in the next drill. Go slow, controlled, use your arms to mobilize, and last one, we're gonna finish down in a hand plank. From the hand plank, we're gonna bring right foot next to the right arm. Our back leg is gonna be nice and straight, and from here, we're gonna go elbow down and open up. As I said, for today's workout, we're gonna need a pair of dumbbells. Now, if you don't have the dumbbells, you can also do the same movement body weight. The intensity is gonna be slightly lighter, but we're still gonna work. And that's around five, hand back, switch sides, get a good position, somewhere where you can go really low, and try to sit down, and twist back up. So five reps, three, maybe around four, and five. Hand down, up, and we are gonna stand back up. Shake the legs. Next one, we're gonna mobilize for our squats. So we're gonna drop down into our deep squat position. Try to keep your back as upright as you can. If you are on the toes, that's okay, but try to press the heel on the ground. And then from here, gently swift and swing left and right. So shift the hips, knees, side to side, mobilize. Also what we can do here is we can go knee in the ground. So first thing we do, we're gonna mobilize for our workout. Then we're gonna ramp the heart rate up a bit. And then we start with the drills. Easy, back in a squat. From here, next one, we're gonna go knees over toe. Now let's force that heel up on the ground. Focus on the ankle. We wanna get as big as flexion in the ankle as we can. Few seconds or few presses. And relax, okay? Next one, we're gonna go back into our hand plank. From hand plank, we're gonna lower the hips, shift left and right. We have a cobra stretch, chest nice and upright. Few seconds, then we're gonna push back, sit on the legs, head through the shoulder, thumbs up. Few seconds here. And we go in a pike. So from here, hips nice and high, straight legs. Straight knees, head through the shoulders, few seconds, good, good stretch, and then back in a cobra. Hips nice and low, chest up. And again, slightly. Shift the hips, left and right. Then back in a child pose, sit on the leg, legs, head through the shoulder, thumbs up. And we go back in a pike. Last one, let's push the hips up nice and high, straight legs, good stretch, and we work next one on our heart rate. Three, two, one, okay, and relax. Okay, we're gonna go up and start bringing the heart rate up. So as we usually do, we're gonna start skipping on the spots. Nice, slow, soft on the toes, try not to hit the heel in the ground. Easy skips, then we're gonna take our arms and a big circle front, like we are swimming butterfly. Few fronts, then we're gonna go backwards a bit. Get a good stretch in the shoulder. Two, one, resume skipping, relax the arms. Next one, we're gonna go front, down, and easy back, kind of a jump squat, not too heavy, not too fast, with a few skips between. So each of our exercises will be done in a time frame, 40 seconds work, 20 seconds rest, and each block is gonna have one minute rest. We're gonna have four blocks strength and one block high intensity, okay. Next one, we're gonna go in a high heel. So we're gonna place the hands behind, try to kick the heel in the glutes. 
try to point the knee down, don't lift the knee up, it's not a skip, and shake, next one, we go into that high heel, so let's kick high knees, let's kick the knee somewhere around our hip height, nice and tall, three, two, one, and relax, shake, okay, I'm going to show you the exercises that we're going to be doing, again, if you don't have the dumbbells, you're going to do them body weight. First one, we're going to go in a lunge, curl, press, and we're going to switch sides. Alternate leg between each rep. Then we're going to go hinge and roll, stand back up, and we're going to finish with the plank up. We're going to go in a hand plank. From our hand plank, we're going to go right down, right up, left down, left up. And we're going to be switching. Okay. So let's prepare, we got 10 seconds to go, time is on, we start with the lunge, curl and press, 2, 1, and down, try not to touch or rest, we can touch the knee in the ground, but try to keep the tension up, okay, so if it's hard, then we can place the knee, rest, if no, just keep working. If you have really heavy dumbbells, remember we can do the same movement just with one curl, press, back. Harder if the knee is slightly off the ground. Keep working. Five, three, two, one, shake. Take 20 seconds. Next one we go hinge and roll. Get a light breather. In the beginning it's easy, as we start going more and more, it gets harder and harder. So let's use our rest time. Five seconds to go, hinge and roll next. Two, one, off we go. Hinge, pull, stand back up. Try to keep the knees as straight as you can. If you don't have the dumbbells, we're gonna Use the body weight. When I, when I say as straight as you can, we're not going to lock them. Okay? Slight bend is going to allow us to get a bit more depth. So we're focusing on pushing the hip back and not the knee in front. So it's a completely different movement from our squat. Three, two, one, relax. We go in a hand plank. We're going to work together, we're going to go right down, right up, left down, left up, and so on. Okay, we got five seconds, let's prep, three, one, and hand plank, right down, right up, left down, left up, right down, right up, left down, left up, and right. Right up, left down, left up, right down, right up, halfway, left down, left up, keep the core tight, try not to swing the hips, left down, left up, right down, right up, left down, left up, almost there, right down, right up, left down, up, and a breather. 20 seconds, we go back into lunge with the curl and press. Okay, let's get ready. Five seconds to go. Three, two, and lunge, curl, press, and back. Try to keep the knee slightly off the ground to create more tension in the legs. Keep the back nice and upright, control the movement, don't rush too fast. Keep the running, rushing for the last block. For now, strength and conditioning. Three, two, and shake. We go into our hinge and roll.
in 10 seconds. Catch your breath, five to go. Three, two, one, and hinge, pull and back up. Keeping shoulders up, don't let the shoulders drop down with the weight. Squeeze your shoulder blades behind. Keep the chest up, back nice and straight, knees slightly bent, and weight evenly distributed across the whole foot, not just the heels. Don't let the heels go down or toes up. Almost there. Three, two, one, and relax. Okay, plank up. If it's too much from the hand plank, from the feet, we can do the same movement from the knees. Okay, so it's up to you. So, three, two, one. So, right down, right up, left down, left up. Right down, right up, left down, left up. Right down, right up, left down, left up. From the knee makes it easier. Right up, left down, left up. Right down, less than halfway to go. Left down. Right up, down, left up. Two, one, and relax. Our second round is done. We got one more before we take a light breather and go in the next block. We go in a lunge, curl and press. Three, two, one. Front lunge, bicep curl, overhead press, same way back. You remember what you do? If you don't have the dumbbells, same movement, body weight. If you have two heavy dumbbells, same movement, one, almost there, 10 seconds to go, five, three, two, and shake, nice work, next one, hinge and roll. Again, if you don't have dumbbells, same movement, body weight. Five seconds. Three, two, off we go. And back. Hinge roll, stand back up. Feet, shoulder or hip width, shoulders up, same line. Again, don't let them drop, give them back. Think of it like you're holding the newspaper or pen between your armpits. Squeeze that pen. We got 10 seconds to go. Almost there. Playing cups. Three, two, one. Relax the dumbbells. We go plank up, body weight movement. Then we take a line break. Okay, let's prepare. We got three, two, hand plank, one. If it's too hard, go from the knees, right down, right up. So same side down, same side up. Switch on top. It doesn't matter if you mess up the way you're doing, as long as we are equally doing both sides, hips as straight as they can be, almost there, and three, two, one, catch a breather, Whew. first round done, nice work, we got three to go, 
in the strength and conditioning, and six in the high intensity intervals. Catch a breather, a bit of water. Next block, three exercises. Again, if you don't have the dumbbells, same movement, no dumbbells, just mimic. We're gonna go reverse lunge, A skip, 20 seconds, one side, then we switch the legs. Once we start, I show you how to decrease the intensity, how to make it slightly easier. Okay, let's prepare. Five seconds, reverse lunge and skip, same side. Off we go. If you want to make it slightly easier, you don't have to skip, just do the kick. If the intensity is too high, just do the lunges. Just reverse lunge and back and switch sides. Same thing opposite. Ten seconds. We go with a renegade roll. Five. Three. Two. Shake. Next one, we take our dumbbells. Hand plank. From here, we're gonna roll. If it's too much, we drop on the knees. We roll. Whichever one you wanna use. Three, two. Feet a bit wider. Pull. If you have only one dumbbell in the middle, pull. Switch sides. Challenge the core. Minimum swing. Easier one from the knees. Ten seconds to go. Almost there. Don't stop. Five. Two. And shake. And the last one with the dumbbells. We're gonna go in a single leg hip hinges. Okay, let's prepare. We grab our dumbbells. Split position. We're gonna lean towards the leg in front. If with time, we're gonna be able to lift the back leg. Make sure you're not catching the balance. Work on the strength. Back leg behind just for the balance. And one more, switch sides. That's it, switch. 20 seconds opposite. Back leg. If we lift it, we're not losing the balance. So don't lean backwards on that leg. So front leg. Three. One. Shake. Reverse lunge with the kick. Round two, second block. 10 seconds. Working only one side. Three, two, one. Now you know if you can do the lunge with the skip, or you need to go just lunge and kick, or just the lunge. I always try to show different variations so we can accommodate for everyone and switch. Halfway. Nice, straight, back. Gentle skip, soft on the toes. Five seconds. Three, two, shake. Next one, we go into renegade roll. Prepare. Five. Two. Feet wide. Hips down. And we pull. Try not to swing from the hips. Meaning 
Don't twist and turn when you're pulling. Keep the core tight. Maybe start with the heavier, then when the time goes, if you can't keep up with the tempo, intensity, or time, just the knees. Keep on rolling. Five to go. Three, two, and shake. We go in a single leg RDLs, hip hinges. Ten seconds. Let's prepare. Single side. Split position. And hinge over the leg in front. What you do with the back leg doesn't matter. Remember, whole work is on the front leg. Our whole body weight. Try to keep the hips in line. Don't rotate when you're side. Switch. Same thing, same time, opposite side. And we're finishing round two in five seconds. Three, two, and shake. Let's work on the reverse lunge and a kick. That's our last small block. We change the exercises. Three, two, and punch. Kick one side. By now you know how to make it easier. Just kick, no skip, or just lunge. No kick or skips. One more, and switch. Doesn't matter what you do with the legs, with the arms, sorry. Two in front or side, as I did. All the same. We're working on the legs. Three. One. Shake. Renegade roll. Let's prepare. And three, hands down, feet up. Off we go. Strong core. No twist. We are halfway through. You know how to make it easier. Try harder. Try to challenge. Almost there. And five. Three. Two. And shake. Whew, nice one. We do the hinge and roll. Then we take a breather. Woohoo. Sorry, not the hinge and roll. Single leg RDLs. I'm living in the past. And split, off we go. Slowly controlled, with time, you're gonna be able to lift the back leg up. In the beginning, work on the strength. Three, two, and switch. Same thing opposite. Almost there. Have a break. Two, one, shake. Whew, nice one. Catch your breath. Next block. Again, three exercises. Same way, 40 seconds work. 20 seconds breather. I show you the first exercise. It's gonna be our burpee. So, standing up, hands down, jump back, chest in the ground, 
stretch, jump wide, and clap. If the intensity is too high, if you cannot work, 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 take a second or two between each repetition. Don't push it too fast. Do the first block, then the next one you can go faster and the third one even fastest or keep the same one. Let's prepare. Five seconds to go. Three, two, one, off we go. Hands down, jump back, chest in the ground. Jump up wide, clap. <laughs> same way up. Remember, take the second, one, two, between reps, if the intensity is too high. You gotta find the tempo you can do for your 40 seconds of work. Two more reps, 10 seconds. Five, three, two, one. Relax. Next one, we go in the snatches. We take our dumbbells. If you don't have the dumbbells, same movement. You're gonna go without the dumbbells, down and up. With the dumbbells, we go. Hinge from here, dumbbells up. One, off we go. Hinge, dumbbells close, elbow first. Slow movement, dumbbells close, elbow first, overhead. Use more your hamstrings and the back to pull. Keep the dumbbells close, almost like you want to brush your shirt with them. Ten seconds. Three. One. Eight. Next one, we go in a dumbbell swing, or if you have a kettlebell, you can also use the kettlebell. If you don't have equipment, just do the body weight movement. Okay, so dumbbell in between index and middle finger. Two, one. We start, like a hip hinge, all force is coming from our hips, lock, don't hyperextend, don't go too far back, lock in a neutral position, once you finish, tight core, less than halfway to go, 15 seconds, we go back into burpees. 10, almost there, 5, 3, 2, and shake, nice, relax the dumbbells, burpees next, round 2, 10 seconds, Stretch and clap. We can make it easier. Step back, down, step in, jump. That's an easier variation. No jumps, more stepping. Ten seconds. Going for two more. Two and a half, maybe. Three, two, one. Next one, snatches. If you don't have the dumbbells, hinge, tap, bring it back up. Same movement, body weight. Except you're going from the ground. Three, two, one. We work, hinge. If you have only one heavy dumbbell, you're gonna grab it from the ground up. Rest, switch. If you have two, hinge from the knees, explode up. Keep the dumbbells close.
We're almost there. Three. Shake. You're gonna finish with the swings. Body weight, kettlebell or dumbbell. Doesn't matter what we're using. 10 seconds to go. Let's give it a start. Three. One. For, hip, for the swings, we are using our hip hinges, not the squat. Don't go in the squat. Hinge from the hips. Focus on your knees. They don't pass our toes or ankles. In a straight line. Inhale, back, exhale, front. Try to keep your toes on the ground. Don't go toes up on the heels. Two, rest. Burpees. Round three, 10 seconds to go. And three, two, one. Again, lower down the intensity. If you cannot keep up, if you have to rest, better rest between the reps than to stop your workout. Two. One, that's the rest between breaths. Ten seconds. Try two more reps. Three, two, shake. Breather. We go into snatches. 10 to go. Three. One. And explode. If you want to, you can always increase intensity, go faster or slower. Two. One. Taking that two seconds breather between each rep. Three, one, eight. Let's finish with our swings. We take a break. Now we go in the last block. Almost there. Two, one. Inhale back. Exhale front. Still whole foot on the ground. Now go toes up. Don't raise your toe. Jam your big toe in the ground like a claw. Grip the ground. Strong whole foot. Two. Shake. Okay, nice work. Third block done. We go into last one. Whew. Slight break. We want to lower down the heart rate. For here, we don't want to be limited by our heart rate. So again, we catch a breath, recuperate the energy. We start next block with the devil's press. We're gonna need the dumbbells. If you don't have the dumbbells, you're gonna be working burpees, okay? So no dumbbells burpees. If you have dumbbells, let's grab them. 
we work together. From here, we're gonna go. Dumbbells on the ground, jump back. Chest in the ground. Jump wide, swing and punch. Don't raise the dumbbells when you go up, wide, like a kettlebell swing, punch it overhead. Wide, swing and punch. Try to keep your back as straight as you can. And one more rep. Two. And shake. Next one, we go in a Russian twist. So, down on the ground. Catch your breath, starting in five seconds. We're gonna lift the dumbbell feet up. From here, we're gonna turn from the trunk. Don't just drop it sideways. Strong core, rotation, all about the twist. Not just lowering it down, throwing it around. Keep it tight. If it's too hard, just get rid of the dumbbell or with the dumbbell, feet down, same position. Try holding for 10 more seconds. And three, two, shake. We go up, we do the split squats. 20 seconds one side, 20 seconds another. Holding the dumbbell in a suitcase position or if you don't have it, do the body weight. So, split position, back leg, heel up, from here, down in the ground, back. When you go up, keep the knee nice and straight. On my mark, we're switching sides. Three, two, one. Switch sides, same thing opposite, straight down. Feet are shoulder width, don't be in line. 10 seconds to go. Three, two, one, shake. Down in the devil's press, back again. Round two, six minutes to go, strength and conditioning. Let's get ready. So, one, dumbbells in the ground, jump back, stretch up, pull, then swing from the hips, swing, pull, punch up, less than halfway to go. One, Russian twist. Let's prepare. Five to go. Two. And work. Work on a good twist. Doesn't matter how you hold the dumbbell. If the intensity is too high, just heels on the ground, makes it slightly easier. If it's too hard, still hard, relax the dumbbell, do it body weight, do whichever one you can for 40 seconds, 10 to go, maybe start harder, go in the easier one, also option, 2, and shake. Next one, we go up into split squats, 20 seconds one, 20 seconds opposite side, let's 
root mount. Three, two. Now I'm gonna. So you can see my feet are shoulder width. Down, just tap the ground, go back up. Last one, and switch sides. Almost there. Five, three, two, shake. Okay, we go in the Devil's Press, finish round three, take a light break, and then we work on the last block. Let's get ready. Three, two, and start. Wide, swing and punch. Try to keep the back straight, don't jump, jump in a deep squat. Okay, so it's a hinge, like a kettlebell swing. Almost there. One more, give it a try. Two. Okay, we're done with the devil's press. Now on the ground, we go in a Russian twist. Five, three, two, feet up, and rotate. Almost there. You know how to make it easy. Charge challenge. Try to go harder than with time. You can go easier. We got 10 seconds to go. Five, three, two, one. Shake. Let's finish with the splits. Then we work on the high intensity. Almost there. Grab the dumbbell. Three. Split position. Two. Off we go. Back heel up. Almost there. And switching sides. Really good. Soon, seven to go. Three, two, one. Relax, shake. That's it. Take a breath. I set the timer for the next block. Next block, we got 20 seconds work, 15 seconds break, short, short breather. We have six exercises, we're gonna repeat them three times. Total time, 10 minutes, 30 seconds. Six exercises, I show you as we start going, which one is next. Let's say we have Around 30 seconds to go. First one, we're gonna start with the high knees. As we start going, I'm gonna tell you how to make the exercise a bit easier if the intensity is too high for you. Okay. We got five seconds to go. Three. Two, one. 
high knee run. If it's too much, I'm gonna just go in the kicks. Try running, 20 seconds work. Three, two, one, shake. We go on the ground, press the feet together, spread the knees, and we go in the sit-ups, butterfly. So from here, three, step back, and up. Swing the arms to make it easier. Or hands in front without the swing. Slightly harder. Five, two, one, shake. Next one, we go in a jump squat. Same thing, start with the jump squats. I show the easier variation. Three, two, one, off we go. Try the jump, soft on the toes. If it's too much, just squat the toes. Squat and toes up. Almost like we have a jump. Back nice and straight. Two, shake. We go on the ground, chest down. From here, arms straight in front. We're gonna go opposite hand, opposite leg. Swimmers, three, two, one, and lift. Opposite hand, opposite leg. Halfway, this is a low impact exercise. Two, one, shake. Next one, we have plank jacks. Hand plank, feet together, spread and close. I'm gonna show you how to make it easier. Two, one, and we can work in, out, in, out, in, out. Or if you wanna lower down the intensity, in, out, breath, in, out, breath. Two, shake. We're gonna turn around, we go in a bicycle crunch. From here, we're gonna raise feet nice and straight, arms behind, shoulders off the ground, feet up, opposite hand or opposite elbow, opposite knee. Keep the shoulders up, don't be laid down. If it's too much, you're gonna press the heels, relax them down, work from the ground, and shake, relax. Now we know all the exercises, and we know how to make them easier. Let's go into round two. We start with the high knees. Two, one, let's run. If the intensity is too high, you know, we can go in kicks only. Try to push yourself. Last block, one, shake. Next one, we have our sit-ups. Feet together. Almost there, let's keep it up. Two, one, we got six minutes, 30 seconds to finish our workout. 50 minutes of work behind us. Let's make it through last six. Two. And shake. Whew. Nice one. We go back in the jump squats. Three. Two. And again, if the intensity is too high, squat to toes. No impact. Three, two, one, shake. 
We go in a swimmers. Arms in front. Feet together. Nice and straight. Five seconds. Opposite hand, opposite leg. Three, two, one. Off we go. Low impact exercise. Still working, not resting. Two, one, shake. We got a plank jacks. Hand plank. With the feet, we're doing jumping jacks. In and out. Two. Off we go. You know how to make it easy? Take that second between each rep. Just keep jumping. It's up to you. Move it. Don't stop. Two. One. Shake. We go in a bicycle crunches. Whew, almost there. Clasp your hands behind the head. Two, one. Heels up. Turn. Keep the shoulders off the ground. And go faster. It's up to you. Two. Shake. Whew. Nice one. Almost there. Running high knees. Off we go. Last round. Almost there, guys. Almost there. Swimmers. Three, two, one. Off we go. Ten sec. Two. And relax. Plank jacks next. Let's prepare. Three, two, one. Off we go. In, out, in, out. Dictate the tempo. Go faster if you can. Take it slower if you need. Two. And we're gonna finish with our bicycle crunches and we go in a cool down. Almost there. Ten. 
then two shake Oof. that's it catch your breath Oof. nice work Oof. take a breather a bit of water okay catch your breath and then we go in a cool down nice stretch okay first thing find the wall hand on the wall from here we're gonna gently rotate Feel a good stretch in your chest and front shoulder. A few seconds hold here. Thumb up. We might feel a stretch in the bicep as well. And relax. We do the same thing. Opposite side. Good stretch. Chest, shoulder, bicep. Three. Two. One. Relax. Nice. Next one for the tricep, hand over head, I'm gonna pull from the shoulder. Here, also what we're gonna do is gently twist and open our side core as well. We got two stretches at one. And easy, down, shake, catch your breath, switch sides, same thing opposite. Push the hips, pull the tricep. So hips over there, open up your side, try to be upright, try not to close yourself in front, nice straight line, two, one, relax, one arm across, get a good pull, stretch the rear delts or back shoulders, a few seconds, and easy, relax, which side? Same thing, opposite side. Easy, few seconds hold. Then we're gonna move in to legs. For the legs, simple one. Grab the foot, heel in the glutes, knee down, squeeze the back glute that is touching the heel, and you're gonna get a bit more hip opening. Hold here. And then easy, relax the leg, don't just drop it down. And we're gonna do the same thing, opposite side. Heel in the glute, knee down, squeeze the glute, open up the hip. Hold for a few seconds. Then we go in a hamstring stretch, easy, relax the leg down. One in front, knee nice and straight, pull the toes towards you, and bend over. If you can, Reach the toe, that's good. If you can't, doesn't matter, as long as you feel the stretch in the hamstrings. Two, one, and easy. Relax, shake, switch sides. Same thing opposite. Pull the toes, bend over, reach. If you relax the toes, you don't feel that much stretch. So pull and relax. And one more for the glutes. We're gonna place one ankle and hold on to something. One ankle on top of the knee. Slightly drop down. Press the knee in the ground and bend over. Okay, so knee down and bend over. We should feel a good stretch in the outside of the hips. Hold it for a few seconds. Switching sides and finishing here. Same thing opposite. Ankle on top of, hold on to something for the balance. Ankle on top of the knee. Slightly down, knee in the ground. And bend over. Three, two, one. And relax. Nice work. Give yourself a round of applause. Thank you for training. I hope you enjoy your day, we had some fun, and I hope to see you next time. Okay.